sales courses or training and there's a saying if I can get one little thing out of that course it will be a good couple of days or a half day and this model that I'm about to introduce you to PPP is one that I learned during a, a four or five day residential and it basically saved my sales career it made calling customers easier it made hinging eventual meetings better and it just opened up a whole world of opportunity that I hadn't realized and it's all around framing and, and setting the right starting point for a meeting, a phone call, and interaction. Now PPP stands for Purpose, Process, Payoff. And this is a, 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 a model, it a, a, it's a forms a part of a process. So if you were making a phone call, it would sort of sound like this. It's Emily, hi, it's Mike Boyle here from Banjar Group. The reason for my call is to introduce you to Banjar Group. It's going to take about 20 minutes of your time, but at the end of that time, I believe I'll be able to demonstrate how we can not only grow sales by about 20% on average, but increase the profits of the business by at least 10%. Is that something you're interested in? Of course, Emily would say, as a CEO, she'd say yes. And then we'd move to, well, which day can we meet to have a discussion about this? So if we replay that a little bit, what was the purpose of my call? Purpose of introducing Banjo. Don't start any call with a lie. Start it with, with your true purpose. Be authentic. What was the process? 20 minutes of your time. Pretty simple. Everyone's got 20 minutes. Don't say an hour, but 20 minutes can work. And then what was the payoff? The payoff, you heard, was that big bait on the end of the call, and it was around profit and sales increasing. So I use that as just demonstrated in calls. The beauty of that is when you get to the call, you actually get face to face to the meeting, you can reset what you said on the phone. Like it's hi, great to meet you today, pleasantries, whatever. You know, as I mentioned on the phone, what I'd like to do is introduce our business, learn a bit about your business, and then work out whether we can work together. And at the end of that, if we do, we can potentially increase your profits or your sales effectiveness, whatever your pitch or benefits are. So what it is, is a frame. This allows the customer to relax with a common point that you're going to get to. That is, in their brain, they can see that if I listen to this person, if I spend time with this person, if I endure their questioning techniques and all that, I will get something out of it at the end of the process. And that's really important. Structure of sales calls and sales interactions is all hinged on the framework or what we call the run light, runway light you give it. If there's no end point, on what's going to happen at the end of this process. Then customers become slightly anxious, they then push back, and often you'll get objections about the process, which you don't really need. This is especially important in this, this new world where people have no time and it's complex and ambiguous. So if you don't give them a structure to a good call, then they're going to potentially become quite agitated quickly. So give that some thought. Great framing process for meetings, for phone calls. Use it in meetings in your own business. Start every meeting with a purpose, a process, and then a payoff. Because I'll guarantee you most of your meetings might disappear because, or they'll just become really effective. PPP.